Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. I did a previous video about what is Tutka and what is the benefit of adding that to your digestive enzymes that contain ox bile for overall gallbladder health. Now Tutka, I'm just going to make it easy. Tutka taken with a digestive support enzyme, particularly ox bile, is good for your overall liver health. But not only that, it's good for your overall system. So keep on watching and I'll show you. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. If you're a returning customer, welcome back. If you're a newbie, welcome. Four things. One, hit the subscribe button down below. Next is a bell notification. Please hit the like button. And also, please leave a comment. I do answer questions. However, if you want to book an appointment, please follow the link down below. Hit the book now button. It will take you to the Gen Books page and we can schedule an appointment to see if I could help you out. Either we could do it on the phone, we could do it a Zoom call, if you're, or if you're in the area, please make an appointment to stop by because I'll be more than happy to sit with you and see how I could help you. So I always appreciate it. Thank you for watching. All right, in my previous video, I did a video on what is Tutka and what are the benefits. And I realized it, the benefits for including Tutka in your regimen is very, very beneficial to, to your overall liver health. In addition, a digestive enzyme. Now, if you don't have your gallbladder, I definitely recommend you taking this and also this as well because this will help make the bile basically more watery. Now, the problem is bile, when it gets backed up because it gets sluggish, this is where the problems occur. Now, when bile salts and ox bile are pretty much the exact same thing. In the previous video, I'm, I let you know that bile, bile has both water-soluble and fat-soluble ends, which help kind of clean up the grease on the frying pan, which will help, to help break down fatty acids to absorb the fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K. Also, it helps clean out the colon. It helps clean out the colon to keep the colon at a pH that's balanced because when it comes to the microbes, we do have good bacteria and we have bad bacteria. The problem is when it gets unbalanced, this is where situations occur. Or if you had your gallbladder removed and you don't, that gallbladder is the storage tank for the bile that's made in the liver. Or if you have an autoimmune disease, which is actually attacking the duct system of the, of the gallbladder, the bile duct, the common bile duct, so forth and so on. So it will cause a backup in the liver. I just want to show this video kind of like more of the benefits of taking, of taking Tutka instead of the whole background of it. The next video, I'm going to do the mechanism of Tutka, but right now I just want to do the benefits, a very brief video of benefits. The main thing you take Tutka is for to improve liver function. Now the liver, huge organ, in the right upper quadrant has over 300 functions to the body. Yes, it's involved with uh, detoxing the system. Yes, it's involved with digestion. Yes, it's involved with immunity. Yes, the immune system works with the liver. Hormone regulation works with gut health, metabolism, blood sugar regulation, in addition to bile production. Now, when you take Tutka, you're improving how the liver functions. So all in all, Yes, if you have cirrhosis, if you have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, if you have alcoholic fatty liver disease, if you have fibrosis, if you have the neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, ALS, Parkinson's, Huntington disease, yes, this is very beneficial, beneficial to you to, impro to improve overall liver health. The liver is amazing because the liver is the only organ that regenerates itself. Unless it's more than halfway gone, you can't, re you can't regenerate the liver. But the liver is an amazing organ, so, and it's a filter. It works with the kidneys to help filter the blood and the metabolites. Now with Tutka, it's more potent than ox bile, so you don't, you don't have to take as much. It protects the liver. The thing is, it's, water, it's a water-soluble bile acid, which bile acids aid in digesting fats. It helps break down the fats, so it absorbs the fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, and K. It also helps stabilize the colon, helps lubricate the colon. 
So if your colon is backed up, it's because probably you're not taking enough bile or you're not making enough bile. Now let's talk about bile flow. <clears throat> bile flow is very, very important because it, it needs to be a certain fluidity. What happens if it's thick, if it's sluggish, it starts backing up. So with bile flow, the more healthy the bile flow, the more healthy the liver will flow. So you definitely want to make that bile more liquid. Okay, so let's talk about bile. Where is it produced? Because bile is made in the liver and it's made from cholesterol. So this is why cholesterol is actually good for you. And coming upstream, cholesterol is made how? By taking in the good fats, the good fatty acids. This is the avocados, the salmon. No, not the ho-hos and ding-dongs. That doesn't make anything except fat. So it's made from cholesterol. And the body gets rid of cholesterol because you can't burn cholesterol off. So it gets rid of cholesterol by making bile. So the HDL, the good high-density lipoproteins, the good cholesterol, is produced in the liver, it circulates in the bloodstream, lacks on to the excess cholesterol, and then it carries it back to the liver because the body always wants to recycle itself. It carries back to the liver, and then cholesterol is converted into bile, which can be then excreted. So this is why bile is very, very helpful, but also to back it up a little bit, cholesterol is very healthy for us. So if you're on stents, if you're on a low fat diet, what's going to happen? It's going to increase your chances of getting gallstones, bile backup, inflammation. So the benefits of taking Tutka, of adding Tutka into your vitamin regimen, it's, there's a lot of benefits. I just have a handful here. Okay, so the benefits on the mitochondria. The mitochondria, that's our energy currency in the form of what's called ATP. Now with the mitochondria, you always want to produce it. You always want to produce a lot of this ATP. Why? Because every single cell can benefit because it has a mitochondria which produces the cellular energy. Now what happens, we have what's called a pre-programmed cell death. That's called apoptosis. When the cells kind of get weak, they're programmed to die. And then the system comes around, cleans it up, and we excrete it. So the, the good thing about Tutka, it adds protection to the mitochondria because we have these molecules called BACs. Now, Bax's job is to clean up the cells. What happens with Bax is that you don't want it, you don't want the Bax molecule to jump the gun and start cleaning up all these weakened cells and not give them a chance. So what it does, it reduces the release of Bax from entering the mitochondria, which causes early cell death. Now, we all have, we have these cells pre-programmed called apoptosis. Apoptosis is a pre-programmed cell death. So when the cells actually get weak, and they're gonna die. Yes, you want that, but you don't want them to. You don't want the Bax molecule to go in there prematurely, and kill all the mitochondria. So that prevents the release of Bax. It's protection. In addition, liver enzymes. Liver enzymes are measured because if you have elevated liver enzymes, that could indicate something's wrong with your liver. Okay, liver issues. So there is an autoimmune condition called primary biliary cholangitis where an autoimmune disease means that the cell, that the body attacks itself. It, can, it attacks the duct system. I actually have a patient of mine, 22 year old, he found out that he has this and it's devastating because it's very, very rare. Now by taking Tutka, 500 milligrams a day, it helps reduce, it helps reduce. It helps increase the liver enzymes, especially ALT, AST, GGT, and L-phosphatase. Because what, what's the mechanism of action? And it improves the mitochondria. Yeah. Liver bile ducts. Liver bile ducts, the benefit because it increases the strength of what's called the endothelial lining. The endothelial lining is actually that inner lining of your, of your tubular system. When that gets inflamed, it could cause dysfunction. So by increasing the strength of the endothelial lining, it increases the ATP se secretion because of mitochondria, which improves bile flow. Remember, you want the bile to flow freely. In turn, improves digestion and reduces gut inflammation because it's going to increase the levels of the good gut bacteria. Remember, we have, a, we have good bacteria and bad bacteria. Now you want to eliminate the bad bacteria and improve the good bacteria. So it increases the levels of, we have what's called tight junctions in our intestines. Tight junctions are exactly what they're talking about. They're tight junctions. And what that does, when you take in bad foods, it causes those tight junctions to become looser which then causes an immune response, leaky gut. So what it does, it increases the levels of tight, the tight junction molecules to improve the gut barrier. 
And if you improve the gut barrier, you're going to reduce the gut inflammation and to reduce the infl inflammatory cytokines. If the cytokines is like, that's the call out to say, hey, we're inflamed. Now, neurologically, this is where Tutka, I find it amazing. Because on the neurological system, Alzheimer's, ALS, Parkinson's, Huntington's, so Alzheimer's disease. Taking Tutka reduces the inflammation of the microglia cells, the inflammatory response, the pro-inflammation cells of our brain, which in turn reduces the buildup of the amyloid plaques. Now it comes to Alzheimer's, it's the plaque buildup, the amyloid plaques that actually causes the dysfunction. So with Alzheimer's taking Tutka, it helps reduce that. In addition, ALS, it reduces the level of inflammation of the nerves, which will slow the progression. Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease, by taking Tutka, it increases the role of the mitochondria. It will prevent what's called c June and terminal kinase, otherwise JNK, otherwise known as JNK activations. So by preventing these JNKs, it reduces the progression of Huntington's and Parkinson's disease. So now the question is the dose. Now with Tutka, you could take it on an empty stomach or you could take it with food. I recommend you can take an empty stomach with the added benefits of N-acetylcysteine or glutathione. N-acetylcysteine turns into glutathione, which is phenomenal for liver health. So by taking them together, you're just gonna improve liver function overall. Now with Tutka, anywhere from 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams, and acetylcysteine, anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams on an empty stomach. I always recommend first thing in the morning or you know, if you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, just take it then. Okay, so I hope this helps. Tutka is an amazing supplement. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.